Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the Wen Angle Guide. So the first thing we have, chisels. Straightforward. Align your chisel so you get it approximately where you think you should have it. We're gonna start out with a 30 degree angle. That's what they recommend for chisels with hardwoods and that's written on the gauge itself. Set the gauge on the stone, slide it up to the edge. It needs to be touching both the edge and the stone. There's a little bit of light showing where the blade meets the stone. I'll lower it just a bit. That is dead on 30 degrees. Perfect. Now let's check out scissors. For scissors, we use a scissor jig. You only check the angle of the guide itself, not the scissors. A 60 degree angle is recommended for scissors. So again, guide on the stone, slide it forward. Well, maybe a little bit low, so we'll adjust it up a little bit. Okay, dead on, 60 degrees. Touching the stone and touching what we're measuring all at the same time. That scissors, now knives. Knives, not as straightforward. Let me demonstrate. We're gonna start out with a 20 degree angle, which is the lowest angle on the guide. I prefer about an 18 degree angle. So I line up my kitchen knife on here. I find, find 20 degrees on the stone, slide it up to my knife. That is right at 20 degrees perfect. However, this isn't as straightforward as a chisel or scissors. Let me explain. So this is your chef's knife, full flat grind, spine to tip. And here is a straight line coming straight in to your stone. This is a terrible rendition of the gauge, but here it is measuring this edge. Now it's not capable of measuring this line that would cut the center of your blade in half and would actually be going straight to the uh, tip. So there's a difference in here. From here to here is a, on, on my knife is a 0.7 degree difference. And so the more drastic your bevel is, the larger the difference. We'll just round it to 1%. And since we're rounding that to 1%, you are going to be measuring a 1% higher angle than what you are actually sharpening at. So, so that 20 degree angle, sharpening this chef's knife, you're actually sharpening at a 19 degree angle. And that's actually closer to what I want. So I might even lower just a little bit to try to get to 18 degrees. So adding 1% to the angle is what I generally do with the chef's knife that is ground uh, full flat grind and not super thick at the top. However, for knives with thicker spines or for flat grinds that don't go all the way up the blade, you're gonna have to use a bigger angle, up to 5%. So just consider 1% to 5% and be the judge and, and you'll get a pretty accurate angle that way. And that's how you use a win angle guide. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And if you can give me a tip, leave it there too. Thanks for watching. Bobby and I want to run my Bobby.